Five Investigates is digging deeper into a story we first reported back in July. Massachusetts families not only losing their homes, but the equity they've built over decades after cities, towns, and even private companies foreclose over unpaid taxes and sell the property and pocket the profit. So that practice is based on an old law, but inaction up on Beacon Hill is allowing that to keep on happening. Our Karen Anderson has been trying to find out why, Karen. And it seems pretty simple. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled it is unconstitutional for the government to foreclose on someone and then keep more than they're owed. So as we first reported this summer, the Massachusetts Attorney General says our current state law is unconstitutional. But we found some communities still moving forward like it's business as usual. I like looking out and seeing them, you know. Alan DiPietro's alpaca farm has seen brighter days. We had issues, as farmers always do. And After falling behind on the taxes he owed to the town of Bolton, DePietro says he wanted to sell part of his farm. He says he even found a buyer ready to pay much more than he owed in taxes. But he couldn't close the deal because the town had already seized everything. I think it's incredibly unfair. I mean, it's definitely unjust. The town's put me so ba far back on my heels, I can't do anything else. I literally can't do anything else. Under current Massachusetts law, Bolton can foreclose on Allen's farm, then sell the property and keep the profit, even beyond what Allen owes in back taxes. I'm being evicted from my own home. Five Investigates told you about a similar situation in Worcester. A woman there is fighting to keep her home after the city sold her $2,600 tax lien to a private company, Talich. Her home is worth roughly $300,000. Massachusetts is one of 14 states that allowed municipalities or even private companies to foreclose on a property and keep all the profits beyond just what is owed. But in May, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that practice, what some call equity theft, is unconstitutional. Since then, some states, including New York and Nebraska, have changed their practices. But despite having six bills proposed on Beacon Hill and the Massachusetts Attorney General declaring the current law unconstitutional, state lawmakers don't seem to feel the urgency to make any changes. In Massachusetts, it's been a question that's been raised repeatedly over prior years. Attorney Peter Brown represents more than 20 municipalities in Massachusetts. The legislature should make clear that cities and towns have an obligation to account and to provide any surplus to a former owner in the event of a foreclosure and an auction. But with a lack of action at the State House, Massachusetts cities and towns are left to interpret the current law for themselves. We reached out to nine communities that had previously sold tax titles at auctions to a private company. In light of the U.S. Supreme Court decision, Medway tells us it paused its foreclosure process. Dedham doesn't have any auctions scheduled at this time, while Quincy went forward and sold tax titles to a private company in June. It completely erodes the confidence in the government and has the government betray its people. Former New Bedford Mayor Attorney Scott Lang said he never sold tax titles when he was in office. That's part of government, to work with people to resolve problems. People don't buy a house and say, I don't think I'll pay my taxes. What happens is that something in life has interrupted their ability to have the cash flow to pay. One bill currently under consideration on Beacon Hill would order any excess proceeds from a tax foreclosure be returned to the resident. Alan DePietro says some kind of fix is long overdue. It seems like they should have done it before just because it's the right thing to do. Uh, but now with the Supreme Court decision, it, it seems like they have to do it. And the town of Bolton declined to comment on Allen's case, citing the pending litigation, but noted they do not sell tax titles to private companies. Now, a spokesperson for the House Speaker says they are now reviewing the issue and working towards a solution. Live in the newsroom, Karen Anderson, 5 Investigates. And